See you tonight, George. Excuse me. Can you help me? I'll endeavor to do my best. My bicycle's been stolen. Yeah, I see. It's most urgent that it be found. It is very precious to me. Could you send a constable? Uh, yes, of course. I don't think McNabb mm. is too busy right now. I'll do it myself. Oh, well, thank you. Now, when did you last have the bicycle? I had it last evening. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so, you've traveled the entire world. Mm, not yet, but I soon will have. I simply have to cross the continent and arrive in Vancouver, and then I shall be done. And all on a bicycle? Not just any bicycle. The one that's been stolen. Whatever for? Because it is a valuable bicycle. Uh, no, I meant, uh, why would you ride around the world? <laughs> why does one do anything? I had a desire. Should I get you another? You promise not to tell. So, I've alerted most of the city's pawn shops and the other station houses of your missing bicycle. We'll find it. So I guess until then I'm stuck here. I suppose so. Well, I will admit this is not the most interesting city I've ever been to. But I have no complaints about my current company. Was that too forward? You're a woman who's traveled the world on chaperone. I don't imagine there is such a thing as uh, too forward in your books. I must say, I do like you, Mr. Watts. Oh, well, it's detective, actually. Sorry, detective? Uh, but please, uh, call me Llewellyn. Then I must say, I do like you, Llewellyn. <laughs> Little impressed me more than Constantinople. The Blue Mosque, Hagia Sophia, a city half in Europe and half in Asia. So where is it then? Eurasia, I suppose. That's not a place. That's stupid. Oh, Egan, be quiet. Have you seen Egypt? I camped under the visage of the Great Sphinx, luncheoned by the pyramids of Khufu, swam in the waters of the Nile River. It's incredible to walk the roads of a civilization eons older than our own. Yes, I most certainly did see Egypt. And one day I hope to see it again. Gentlemen, back to work. If I had known it was stolen, I would have reported it immediately. Mm, undoubtedly. Someone brought it in last night. I didn't see the notice it was stolen until later. Thank you for informing me. Do you have any idea who brought it in? John Smith. An alias. That's what made me suspicious. Well, thank you very much. If it remains unclaimed. Uh -huh. So when are you going to tell her? Tell who what? When are you going to tell Miss Fallis you found her boy school? What are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. I saw you wheeling her boys call into the evidence lockup. Don't worry, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not sure I want her to leave. Fair enough, Watts, but it might not be the best way to begin a friendship. I mean, that stolen boys call is going to grow in your mind, bigger and bigger, until, until it consumes you. I mean, you haven't read your poem, have you? Hmm. Yes. Well, <clears throat> perhaps I'll be over her in a few days, then I'll find it for her. Anything troubling you? It's just unusual being in one place for so long. I guess I'm out of the habit. I'll find your bicycle. Just take a little more time and then you can be on your way. Llewellyn, I have no complaints about the company. You are a marvelous companion. I just like to finish what I start. So do I. You are wonderful. I do consider myself very lucky to have found a man like you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, in honor of our opening. I... Do you like it, Doctor? Yes, it's, it's quite good. I don't but please hang it in your office. Couldn't wait, so I got a new one. Still getting used to it. And you're leaving? Tomorrow morning. I thought you wanted to complete the ride on your original bicycle. I did, but I'm wagering that it will never be found. If you just give me a little more time, I'm I... sorry. I have to finish this. Can I see you once more? Of course. <laughs> that is why I came by. Tonight? Of course. I do have to leave Llewellyn. I know. And watch oh. your step. It's romantic as a kidnapping can be. I just want you to leave in the style you are accustomed to. You found it. I did indeed. Oh, this is so joyous. Thank you. Yes, I almost didn't give it to you. I found it yesterday. Yesterday? And you didn't tell me? I thought if I hid it, you would stay. But when I saw you right up, well, I knew I couldn't keep you. No, you couldn't. Were you really going to deny me my dream? I thought about it, but no. I would be lying if I didn't say I'm sorely tempted to stay. But you can't. I want to finish this. I have to finish this. Of course. And six months from now, I will be done. Mm -hmm. So, if you would like, I do think a trip back here would be a lot quicker. I would like that.